Hello everyone, this is Anuj from Gadget Geek. Crossbeats have launched the Orbit Infinity smartwatch, which offers Bluetooth calling and AMOLED display. And in this video, we will do the unboxing and will show you the features. So starting with the unboxing, here we have a premium looking box with the model name Orbit Infinity. And here at this side, we can see the app details, which is available for both Android and iOS platform. And next to it, we have the features such as AMOLED display, TWS connection, music storage up to 8GB, always on display, 200 plus watch faces, 1.39 inch 3D curved screen, Bluetooth calling, voice recording, 110 plus sports modes, and you also get the power saving mode. The MRP on the box is Rs. 14999. However, this smartwatch is available to purchase for Rs. 6999. Now, let's open the box and show you the content. So, on the top we have the warranty information. And then, here we have the info to claim a free scratch guard for this watch. And then, we get a quick start guide. After that, we have the nicely presented watch module along with two pairs of straps. So, we get the grey silicon strap and a brown leather strap. We will look at the watch in a moment. Let's see what else we have in the box. So, here we have the user manual which has the info about the features of this smartwatch. And then, we get the magnetic charging cable and here is how it connects at the back of the smartwatch. So, that's all we have in the box. Now let's look at the smartwatch closely. Crossbeats Orbit Infinity is a mid-range smartwatch. But looking at the design and build quality, I really find the design very good and it does feel premium. The two pairs of straps is also an advantage and you can choose the leather strap for formal look and the grey silicon sporty strap for a casual look. In terms of the build quality, keeping in mind its pricing which is 7000 rupees, I find the build quality very good and you get the metal casing around the watch. And talking about the overview, in the front, we get the 1.39 inch AMOLED display with the curved screen. And here we can see we get minimal bezels. At this side of the watch, we have the buttons to operate the watch. And here we have the mic on the right and the left side. At the back, we have the sensors and the charging points. And on the top, we have the speaker. So, overall, in terms of design and build quality, I find the design very good. And the build quality of this watch for sure feels premium. And guys, this watch does look pretty good on the wrist and also quite comfortable. Now, let's turn it on and pair it with our phone. So here the watch is on and you can use the watch straight away. But we will be connecting the smartwatch with our phone so that we can explore all the features. So here we have the app installed and for pairing, just go to the add device section and here we have the CB Infinity. And that's it. The smartwatch is now paired with our phone. And guys, to enable the Bluetooth calling, you will need to pair the phone with the device ID Infinity Audio. Now, let's go through the watch features. So first of all guys, I must tell you that the AMOLED display of this smartwatch looks gorgeous and the color output is also very good. So about the features, here we are on the watch face and upon long pressing, you can switch between different watch faces. And you won't believe me that this smartwatch comes with over 100 plus inbuilt watch faces, which I am seeing for the first time. And that's not it. You get lot of beautiful watch faces and some of them are animated watch faces. And also, the touch response is good and the menu is lag free. Now coming back to the features, swapping down from the top, we'll show you the quick settings. And here we have the Bluetooth settings, battery percentage and the watch settings. In the Bluetooth settings, you can select the mode as normal mode, phone mode or the TWS connection mode, which lets you connect a Bluetooth earphones with your watch. And as mentioned earlier, you get 8GB storage in this watch which means you can store the music on this watch and listen to them via TWS earphones. Now coming back to the controls, swiping left or right will show you the quick apps. And here we have the step count, heart rate, SPO2, weather, voice assistant and music. To access the main menu, you will need to swipe up from the bottom. So guys, here we have the menu which is by default in a cellular view. You can keep it like this or change the view mode from the settings. And for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to choose the list view. So in the menu first we have the step count. And here you can see your current step counts along with the calories burned and distance travelled. And then we have the sleep data. After that we have the heart rate. And guys, the heart rate detection is fast and you get continuous heart rate monitoring support in this smartwatch. And also, you don't get the false reading in this smartwatch. After that we have the SPO2 monitoring which is also quite accurate and fast. And then we have the blood pressure monitoring which is only for reference and should not be used for any medical purposes. After that we have the music and you can control the music on your phone 
and also listen to the music stored in the watch using a true wireless earphones and then we have the sports modes and guys in this smart watch you get 110 plus sports modes which is also very good after that we have the sports history which will show you the workout history and then we have the breathe and here you can do some breathing exercises to calm yourself down and then we have the weather and here you can see the current weather condition along with the weather forecast after that we have the call and here you have the recent calls contacts and also the dial pad and about the performance i will talk in a moment after that in the menu we have the messages which is basically the notification history and then we have the flashlight which is a pretty handy feature and then we have the calculator and it's good to have a calculator on your smartwatch and then we have the usual options such as alarm stopwatch and timer with some preset timers and then we have the ai voice which is basically the voice assistant and with this you can use the google assistant or siri using your watch and then in the menu we have the recorder and with this you can record the sound directly to your watch after that we have the remote camera control and then finally we have the settings in the settings we have the display and here you have the watch faces idle clock which is a style for the always on display and you get around 10 styles for the always on display then in the settings we have the screen off time and the always on display time after that in the settings you can set time and date manually and then you have the vibration settings brightness controls view mode to switch between list or cellular view language dnd and the power saving mode and after that we have the usb mode by which you can transfer the music from your pc to the watch and then in the settings we have the usual shutdown reset and the restart option so that's all the features we have on the watch and feature wise this smartwatch offers all the necessary features and even a few extra ones the feature which is missing i think is the find phone option now let's look at the companion app fit winner so guys this is a third party app and looking at the ui on the home page we have the health data and you can swipe left or right to see the sleep heart rate spo2 etc on the next page we have the workout and here you can start a workout session using the app and then we have the device setting page and on the top we have the connected device and then we have the settings such as time format auto heart rate frequency watch face store and in this you can see the cloud based watch faces and also the built in watch faces of the smart watch after that we have the notification settings and guys here you can select the apps for which you want the notification on your watch and talking about it here is how you get the call alert and you can accept or reject the call from the watch itself and talking about the bluetooth calling more the performance is very good the speaker is loud and also the mic clarity is very good and the other person on the call didn't even feel any difference now let me show you the app notification and guys in this watch we don't get the preset replies or the emoji support after that in the settings we have the reminders such as sedentary reminder drink water reminder and then we have the race to screen light which is basically the race to wake feature and about the performance it works very good and the response is quick but guys for some reason the race to wake wasn't working properly when the always on display is enabled so that's all the options we have on the smartwatch and in the app and feature wise you're getting a lot of options in this watch so overall the crossbeats orbit infinity smartwatch is a good looking smartwatch with an amoled display the display is gorgeous and the output is amazing the touch response is also very good and there is no lag while browsing through the menu the fitness data seems accurate and the heart rate spo2 data accuracy is also decent and of course bluetooth calling is also an advantage apart from that other features such as music storage on device voice recording makes this smartwatch a very good package but guys there is one thing however which i couldn't understand and that is a missing gps in this smartwatch i wish it came with a built in gps option Nonetheless, if you're looking for a premium looking AMOLED display smartwatch with Bluetooth calling, then we highly recommend you to check out the Crossbeats Orbit Infinity smartwatch. And as usual if you like it and want to buy one, then do check the buy link in the description below. So that's it guys, this was the unboxing and review of the Crossbeats Orbit Infinity smartwatch. Let us know if you like it and also do tell us if you have any queries or questions about this smartwatch in the comment section below. So that's all for now. If you like this video, then please press the like button and subscribe to our channel Gadget Geek for more videos like this. Once again, this is Anuj signing off and I'll see you in the next one.